full throttle is uh, the boat that's closest to the pin. They're trying something. They had a bit of a risky start the first time. And they're punched out near the pin end. It's not really near the pin end. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And I couldn't see the flag there. Dead even start right across the line. The, the first 20 boats are right on the line. Looks like we may have had a clean start there. I, I can't can't see the race committee boat from where we are. Now I catch a glimpse of it. I don't see any extra flags up. I think we're off. I think our uh, race two is off. We've got one boat just spun out there. Uh, Pardon me. Uh, uh, and Kasi there just did it on a, a tack. Totally depowered and now they're up and going again. Yeah. All right, we're gonna duck them. So, so I made an error board. there. What I thought was full throttle is actually Bronco starting near the pin end. But you got it? Yep. Uh, so that was Bronco down here. Bronco starting at the pin end. Now, uh, once again, we're crossing below the fleet. We're kind of ducking here on Port Tack to get out to the other side. So working down the line, there's Q breaking left here. Warpath. The third boat in. B Lynn sailing, not giving up on that left side. They did get a good start. Black Mamba's tucked underneath there. Also in this pack, we've got Samba Pati, Star, tacking to port and ducking the fleet. And you know, that's, wow, big waves here, big chop. I don't think that's such a bad idea there. Uh, star not getting off to a great start, but trying to make the best of it here, tacking and ducking the fleet, trying to get to that right side. We saw in the first race how dangerous it is, uh, dangerous it is to get stuck out there. And here's what we're talking about with the big, big chop. Even on board here, we're getting uh, pretty, covered. I can see the lens is wet. Let me get that fixed up for you. They're in second place right now. Full throttle coming across on starboard. They're going to meet second. Luca Lali and B Lynn sailing in first. It's like Pegasus is going to take third around the top mark. That's just a great call from way out on the right side to nail that ley line. Yeah, I was just asking about uh, tactics aboard um, b -Lin Sailing. I think it is Flavio Favini that's making that call. They nailed the, the ley line perfectly. Heartbreaker gets lucky, able to tack in there into fourth from Port Tack. There's Lena Barca in fifth, followed by Roxanne in sixth. Tyrades in seventh. Rougarou is... Uh, Ninth with Goombe Smash in eighth. Samba Pati is next. Arathusa, Ramrod, Viva. And now we've got a few boats coming in on port. There's Red finding a hole. Okay, the leaders have early died. Black Mamba. Do you want to go down this side? There's, yeah, can we yeah. spin around and yeah. um, if you turn upwind, we can keep shooting. The Barbies, Team Barbarian next. All the leaders went for a jive set there. Bronco, Q, Warpath, Red, and the rest. And now downwind, let's follow those leaders. All right, here we are at race two at the first lured gate. Lots of exciting things have happened here. We had the race leaders try a jibe set and, and nearly get calm. The wind went from 18 to 20 knots down to about 12 knots and they couldn't get their boats moving. So now it looks like Gombe Smash has taken the lead and they're favoring, uh, they're, they're rounding the favored gate. The gate has been extended and it's huge and that looks like the upwind gate. It looked to me like Rougarou was about to be leading this race but they've chosen the downwind gate. Then Ramrod actually has now caught up again. Tirade has moved into fourth. And at one point on this uh, downwind, and it was full throttle. And who's the leader? All 
right, here we are at the bottom of the first uh, lured leg in the race two. We had lots of lead changes that race. The wind has been all over the place, up and down. It is certainly not as steady as it looks. We had lulls down to 12 knots. The leaders found themselves in those big lulls. So uh, right now, Goombe Smash has been has gotten back into the lead here. They're winning race, race one. They're now in the lead. Tirade moved up to fourth. Rougarou was contending for the lead, but they chose the downwind gate. That actually might turn out to be in their favor as they're heading out to the favored right side for the upwind. And it's really light right now. It's down maybe to 10 knots. Boats are having a hard time planing even. We're gonna have a little pinwheel on this left gate looking upwind, right gate looking downwind. Q on the inside, taking full advantage of uh, their rights, but look at the rest of them. Here's Japanese boat Rose next. Watch this as they come around. Unbelievable. Warpath. Oh, 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 oh. Samba Pati is going to get hit in the head with a boom there by a star. Samba Pati on the outside. The teasing machine. Yasha Samurai. Boy, these guys really throw those boats around, don't they? And Bronco is next. So Pegasus was a victim of that lighter wind on that downwind. They went from second place uh, all the way to about uh, 12th. Full throttle, same deal. They, they, they both rounded the wrong gate, so they have a lot of catching up to do. Uh, by my estimation, that, that gate is separated by, whoa, maybe 20 boat lengths, and it's about six boat lengths downwind. So yeah. that, that right gate was, uh, maybe it dragged a little bit, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. That That's a pretty amazing uh, distance, though. Here's Taboo. You saw they had a lot of trouble with that spinnaker. They abandoned that uh, left gate altogether, and they come down here to the right gate. So, second time up, Goombe Smash. Continuing to lead the race. This is Ramrod in second here. They've had a, a tale of lots of <laughs> ups and downs. They were up in the first beat overlaid the winter mark and had a fantastic second or downwind to get themselves into second place. Uh, what's going to happen here with third? Tirade is right there on the ley line. Beelin sailing, they might be a little bit under, but they're going to pinch it up and make it around. They just rolled right over number 74. Uh, Lena, Lena Barca. Barca. Yeah, Lena Barca. And Rougarou also rolling right over the top. So that's third tirade, fourth Vlin sailing, fifth Rougarou, and sixth Lino Barca. Back at the mark, Roxanne. And the top seven have really pulled ahead here. The next boat is going to be uh, quite a ways behind, so it looks like the top seven are pretty pretty comfortable, but having said that, on that first downwind, lots of things happened. There was lots of holes that uh, really created a lot of separation. Boy, I hope that uh, aerial photography is coming out good, because they're becoming kind of a nuisance. Heartbreaker. Yeah, on that first downwind, Heartbreaker temporarily took the lead. Uh, and then they found themselves in a hole and fell all the way back to almost 10th, where they are now. Or 8th, sorry. You guys can let us know when it's time to, to leave and go down, but for now we're, we're still here. Arethusa. Followed by Team Barbarians. I think one of the big stories on that first yeah. downwind was uh, Samba Pati, Team Pegasus, and full throttle falling way back in the race. They were all in the top five, I believe. At least full throttle and Team Pegasus were in the top three, and they've all dropped substantially. They all sailed into the same hole and lost a huge amount, up to 12 boats, I think. Viva, rounding up, look at that, nearly broaching. Can you turn to your right? Yep. Viva still trying to get control there. Jived to starboard and uh, got completely knocked over there. 
still don't have it totally under control. They managed to keep the crew out of the water and now finally back underway down to the finish. So it looks like Goombay Smash took the win. We missed a good number of, uh, of finishes there, unfortunately. But Rougarou uh, across the line, Heartbreaker, Warpath, Samba Pati. And now here we are at the back of the pack. Pretty sweet ride nonetheless. Here's Argo. Weight all the way back, planing downwind. Right into the finish here. Jeff Eklund, star in the black spinnaker. Tough race there. just about wraps up race number two. Nobody's leaving the race course yet, so it looks like we may have a third one on the way.